The world is still in shock after Juice World suddenly passed away. TMZ first reported the tragic news, saying that a seizure took place at Chicago's Midway Airport after the rapper's flight landed from California. Since then, many celebrities have been reacting to his death. Welcome to Riveted, and today, we'll look at the most emotional reactions from celebrities. Just moments after Juice World died, he was the top Twitter trend in the United States with more than 1.5 million tweets, as well as the second biggest global trend, Rest in Peace, R.I.P., and Lucid Dreams, which was the rapper's biggest hit. After the news of his death spread, Juice World returned to the highest tier on the Hot 100 with Lucid Dreams. Thousands of fans gathered in Los Angeles for the love of hip-hop as they attended Rolling Loud's annual event. Dozens of artists took to the festival stages, including YG, Blueface, DaBaby, Megan Thee Stallion, Tiga, Machine Gun Kelly, Whale, Ski Mask, The Slump God, Famous Dex, Lil Uzi Vert, Meek Mill, Playboy Cardi, and many others. Juice World was all set to perform at Rolling Loud Los Angeles, and instead of removing a slot from the show, his team used the opportunity to create a moving tribute to the late 21-year-old rap star. Juice World was signed to Interscope Records in March of 2018 after scoring hits on SoundCloud with Lucid Dreams, and all girls are the same. Interscope Records said in a statement, he was a gentle soul whose creativity knew no bounds, an exceptional human being, and an artist who loved and cared for his fans above everything else. Several of Juice's fellow artists reacted to the news of his death on social media, including Drake, who said, I would like to see all the younger talent live longer, and I hate waking up hearing another story filled with blessings was cut short. Chart topper Lil Nas X paid tribute on Twitter by saying, so sad how often this is happening to up-and-coming artists. Fellow artist Lil Yachty, who featured Juice on his song Yacht Club, expressed his shock on Twitter by writing, wow, I cannot believe this. Rest in peace, my brother Juice World. Juice World was loved by fans from different genres because he collaborated with other artists who don't rap. They were equally shocked when they heard about the untimely demise. Singer Ellie Golding collaborated with Juice on the song Hate Me in 2019. She shared photos of them together and said he was a sweet soul. She wrote, I'll always remember meeting you and your family on the video set and thinking how close you were. You had so much further to go, you were just getting started. You'll be missed, Juice. Other people took their time to talk about Juice World in various events and festivals, and among them was his girlfriend Lottie. During the appearance at the Rolling Loud Festival in Los Angeles, Lottie took the stage to remember Juice World. She said, I just wanted to come out here and let everyone know that Jared loved every single person that he helped on this earth. He literally loved every single one of you guys. She ended her short speech by pointing out how Juice World had always preached positivity, even using the number 999 as an example of how to flip a negative into a positive. Travis Scott, who featured Juice on Astro World track No Bystanders, posted a black and white photo of the pair, writing, You will live on forever. Bye, brother. Love you, dog. Rest in peace. Singer Halsey also remembered the talented rapper and said, Sweet boy, the fastest brain in the game. Your creativity, endless, immortal. Rest in power. I can't even explain the sadness. In yet another post on social media, Chance the Rapper wrote, He knows our hearts. I really wish we had more talks like that one night in L.A., dude. This is ridiculous. Millions of people, not just in Chicago, but around the world, are hurting because of this and don't know what to make of it. I'm sorry. Love you, and God bless your soul. Hashtag legend. One person who was very close to Juice was Ski Mask, and the death was a huge blow to him. On a very emotional post on Instagram, Ski wrote, I love you so much. You didn't deserve this. I can't explain how much it hurts me to lose you. Rest in peace, you know I'll carry your energy forever. I can't lose any more brothers. Ski Mask the Slump God was likely referring to his friends and fellow rappers XXX Tentacion and Lil Peep, who died in 2018 and 2017 respectively. XXX Tentacion was 20, while Lil Peep was 21. Benny Blanco remembered how Juice was always happy around people. He said, It was always jokes. I literally can't even find a picture where you aren't laughing or in the middle of telling a funny-ass story. You were one of the sweetest, purest people I have ever met. Your talent was unmatched by anyone. You literally would just listen to a beat for two seconds, then go in the booth and record five takes and say, pick the best song, and then do that over like 10 beats. I would literally run out of beats. You were not human. You were something else, something special. I'm thankful for the time we spent together. Your friends and family are in my prayers. Love you, bro. Zane Lowe wrote on his Twitter, Juice World was a thoughtful and gifted artist whose talent had an immediate and enormous impact on millions. I always looked forward to seeing him. I'm so sad to know that it won't be possible anymore. My thoughts are with his family and friends to have lived in a time. Hashtag rest in peace, Juice World. Juicy J wrote that he couldn't believe the news of the sudden death. Rapper Action Bronson noted that he and Higgins shared a birthday, which came just days before the young rapper's death was announced. Singer Young Baby Tate shared her condolences, writing, Juice World, way too young, way too bright. This is so sad. 
prayers to his family and loved ones. DJ Academics was one of the stars who shared a story about the late rapper as part of podcasts and YouTube videos. He also covered the news that closely affected Juice World. The most controversial and talked about of those comments related to an ongoing controversy between the rapper's producers and a pop star who supposedly demanded profits. In what was revealed to be his last words with Juice World, the YouTube celebrity looked back on missing out on what would be their final words. The DJ was supposed to meet Juice World on the same weekend he died, and he shared his regrets on social media. The rapper and songwriter Juice had also created a positive relationship with the media. Among those who were deeply affected by the loss of Juice World were those publications and music writers who knew him well. Much of the connection came in to the honest exchanges with interviewers. Juice World was very open about the consequences of using drugs, even though he was also struggling. Among those who also expressed their grief over Juice World's death were professional video gamers who knew of the rapper's love of video games. Jodat Voiboy Esfahani, a professional League of Legends esports player, wrote, Life is just cruel, man. Juice World was such an incredible, poetic, and beautiful soul. He was only 21 but captured my and so many hearts around the world with his music. Too young, too soon, too tragic. Rest in peace to the legend. In the funeral program obtained by TMZ, his mother, Carmela Wallace, left an emotional tribute to her son, writing, My dear son Jared, God trusted me to raise you, and I poured all I had into you as the Lord guided me. We were inseparable, and even though you left home early, we were always in each other's hearts and always had a special bond. We were always overjoyed to see each other, and you still called me Mommy as you hugged and kissed me when you saw me. Your love was pure and innocent, and your heart was genuine. You truly cared about people and wanted to make the world a better place. I'm going to miss you dearly. Rest in peace, my dear one. Mommy loves you. As much as fans and other artists are still mourning the death of the talented young artist, many cannot ignore the fact that rap culture had something to do with his death. Lil Pump decided to cut a popular single from his Rolling Loud set out of respect for his late colleague. A source close to Pump told TMZ that the rapper was set to perform his track, Drug Addicts, at Rolling Loud Los Angeles, but he removed the song from his list after learning about Juice World's death. In the song, Drug Addicts, Lil Pump seemingly promotes drug use. Given the circumstances surrounding Juice World's passing, Pump didn't think it would be appropriate to perform the song. In the track's place, Lil Pump played Juice's smash single, Lucid Dreams, and displayed Rest in Peace, Juice World" on the screen behind him. He also paid tribute to fellow South Florida native XXXTentacion, who was killed in June 2018. Some months back, Lil Pump had stated that he would give up drugs for good, and we can only hope that his music in the future will pass positive messages. Vic Mensa is one of the people who strongly believe that the hip-hop world's love for drugs played a role in the death of Juice World. While speaking to TMZ, he offered his take on hip-hop and drugs when he answered the site's question about Lil Pump's decision to cut drug addicts from his set. Vic gave a nod to Pump for the gesture, but he added hip-hop needs to take responsibility for Juice World's death. He said that rap lyrics glorifying drugs sends a dangerous message to fans, especially young ones. Vic also reflected on his past, rapping about drug use before pointing toward a similar attitude leading to Juice's death. The death hit him hard because he realized how easily that could have been him. During the interview with TMZ, Vic said, I think that, as members of the hip-hop community, we need to take responsibility for the things that we say. We need to recognize that the shit we talk about influences children. So when we are steady pushing a message of lean and Percocets and Zans, we are polluting the minds of the youth. We have a responsibility to give it to them in a real way. Not to say that you can't talk about your real life and the things that are happening, but I think that we need to start holding each other and ourselves accountable for our glorification of the drug culture 100%. That's just what it is. Anything else that's parasitic to our people to just act like this is the shit to be on lean all the time. Stunna for Vegas is one of the latest rappers to comment on drug use in relation to Juice's recent death. A couple of weeks ago, Trippy Red vowed to quit using drugs, and Joyner Lucas blamed rapper's drug-boasting lyrics for the 21-year-old's passing. Stunna candidly opened up about his drug use and shared his thoughts on Juice World's recent death. When asked if Juice's untimely death affected the way he thinks about his own Percocet use, which he claims he uses for a stamina boost in bed, Stunna replied, I don't think so. Multiple opinions, varying from drug glorification to mental health lapses, have surfaced as Juice's friends and fans mourn the recent loss. The late rapper's official cause of death has yet to be determined, as the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office claims that additional studies, including cardiac pathology, neuropathology, toxicology, and histology, are still required. In other news, former pop punk act Yellow Card is continuing their $15 million copyright complaint against Juice World, even after the rapper's death. In October, there was an allegation that the defunct Florida Rockers were seeking to file suit against the Juice World over the late entertainer's 2018 hit Lucid Dreams. In the complaint, the band claimed that Lucid Dreams lifted melodic elements from their 2006 song, Hollywood Died. 
Yellow Card filed a motion to extend the amount of time the rapper's co-defendants, which include Juice World's co-writers, publishers, and record labels, have to respond to the complaint. The defendant's response was originally due on December 9th. Now, that's received an extension to February 4th, 2020. They also wanted money from all future Juice World tours and public appearances, but obviously they can't really ask for that now. As we continue to mourn the death of Juice World, we can only hope that more rappers will see this as a wake-up call. It's really hard not only for families and friends, but also for very young fans who have to process all these deaths every year. Hopefully, 2020 will be better. Let us know your thoughts and views about Juice's passing in the comments section below. This has been Riveted. We publish amazing videos daily. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification to always stay up to date.